Might be the demo, Tim. That's fine. But then people will think we're poor. <laughs> <laughs> so you played Village, not that Resident Evil Village, not that long ago, like shortly after it came out. Yeah, and that was In like fact, our we one beat big Markiplier. Purchase. We beat Markiplier playing and beating, and I will always brag about Tim, that. That was our one big purchase of the year. All right, <laughs> <laughs> we can't splurge like that all the time. I bought a whole bunch of games. Uh. Right. How about Nosferatu Trivia? for a dollar? <laughs> Trivia. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, you don't have, you haven't have Damn it it. unlocked yet. Damn it! All right. Dagon is a faceline interactive adaptation of HP Lovecraft's work. Yeah, no shit. Sure you'll find difficult Stop. choices. For, okay, like game, game makers, listen to me. We know. We know it's an adaptation of HP Lovecraft. You don't have to say that anymore. By tonight, I shall be no more. Uh, is the stuff on the wall supposed to be tentacles? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, no, but it, but it is. <laughs> During the game, you will encounter interactive elements. Some of them allow you to continue your journey. Others reveal interesting Others facts won't. About that's them. the that's the way uh, things are. Some of the trivia is hidden. In order to uh, find the, the secrets, focus your eyes and look is for. Is it actually the, going to be trivia? Yeah. Trivia, trivia. Oh, there we go. There's some trivia. Oh my God! That's not trivia. That's it's a fr like uh, uh, someone so put their is, essay. My case is peculiar. All right, all Just right. Exactly as easily as as simply as I would utter the same topics of conversation. H.P. Lovecraft said, "Oh my God!" <laughs> throughout his life, Lovecraft penned around 100,000 letters to his friends and fans, out of which about 10% survive to this day. How many fans did he but actually have of his time? I didn't think he was, he was a respected writer at the time. was a relatively late growth. In youth, a scarcity, I scarcely did any letter writing thinking anybody for a present of supply, HP, Croft, Craft. Croft, Craft. Croft, Craft. There's no HP Crovecraft. Ah, look, it's HP Crovecraft. And at the end of my supply of the drug, which alone makes life endurable, I can bear the torture no longer. Wait, and endurable or durable? Endurable. Street below. Like, you can endure it. Okay, not like it's it's durable, Do not think and it's now it's indurable. It's not no longer durable. Degenerate. When you have read these hastily scrawled pages, you may guess, though never fully realize, why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. Cause I'm a bitch. Hey. So heroin? Ah <laughs> oh, no! Morphine, Morphine into, entered into use in 19th century and was routinely oh, administered to treat severe pain during the American Civil War and World War One. It was also sold without restrictions until 1914. It was given to toddlers as well. Who first, as it, Friedrich Sertzerner was who first isolated the substance, originally named it morphium. Um, after Morpheus, the Greek god associated with dreams. At the time when Dagon was published, morphine abuse, known as soldier's disease, already posed a big problem in the United States. I think soldier's disease was the missing of limbs and the losing of sleep. All right, Tim. It was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific. Uh. The blanket uh. of which I was supercargo uh. fell out uh. into the Germans. Uh. Look around. I guess the boat's gonna be taken through drug under the water. Dagon was written around oh my the God. after the United <laughs> States. This is not a game! One. Lovecraft was actively interested in its cur his course. Uh, he composed many poems in which he gave encouragement to soldiers and commented on the events unfolding in Europe. He tried to enlist in the army, which he mentioned in one of the letters to. This is like when you when you're sitting at like a coffee shop and there's like that um actually guy. 
But even though he passed the physical exam, his mother prevented him from going to war. She has threatened to go to any lengths, legal or otherwise, if I do not reveal all the ills which unfit me for the army. I am her providence. The I am providence. The life and times of H.P. Lovecraft. What does H.P. stand for? I always thought it was Hewlett Packard. <laughs> Hewlett Packard Lovecraft. You know, his founding Great company. The war was then at its very beginning, and the ocean forces of the Hun had not completely sunk to their later degradation. I mean, the water graphics look fine. So our vessel I gotta say, HP Lovecraft game, the water has to be good. Yeah. It's like a Japanese anime involving Tokyo. It's gotta have Hong good Kong. Jets. It's gotta have. What? What? I was saying water and rain has to be really good. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That too. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, that's also a storyteller. The refusal to take prisoners was a clear breach of the law and the customs of war adopted during the first Hague Convention of, of 1899. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna jump in the boat. Do you not get to move around? No. This is a point and click so liberal, where you get two options per click. Captors. Per and point. Five days after they were taken, God. I managed to escape alone in a small boat with water and provisions for a good length of time. I mean, if you don't know where you are, you would want your it to be like, I don't know, months. <laughs> huh. Yeah, no, no, there's absolutely nothing else. This really is pointless. To the umpteen max. Weird. Yeah. What about Is no one gonna stop me? <laughs> I'm taking your stuff! Well, it's my stuff now because I stole it. Ha, bitches. Sounds like you fell into the water. It when does. I finally found myself adrift and free. I had but little idea of my surroundings. Yes! Never a competent navigator. I could only guess vaguely by the sun and stars that uh, I was somewhat south of the equator. Okay. Why wouldn't, of the longitude, I knew nothing. Why wouldn't you want to escape when you've inside. met land? Or close to land, you can see it. That's an excellent question, because he's dumb an as... An idiot? Br uh, bricks? Wait, what am I... Oh. The sun. Gotcha. What if the I moon. Look... Steven. Nah, that's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? You know that nighttime sun. The uh, midnight sun. You know. The midnight sun? Hey, right, look. Is that <coughs> Orion's belt? Uh, no. I highly doubt this. Is, these are accurate. That's, That's probably up top. No, no, no. Is that the Yeah, difference? it's probably more like it. No. This is... I don't... It's not... It's not right. I don't feel... It's not accurate. Something seems off about the stars. It's H.P. Lovecraft. It's probably not right. I mean, would you be surprised if I told you that every single H.P. Lovecraft m book, uh, or M poem, McGurfin. is uh, full of historical and inaccuracies and, and scientific, scientific inaccuracies. inaccuracies? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I I know that that's a true <clears> fact. Fair. And for uncounted days, I drifted aimlessly beneath the scorching sun, waiting either for some passing ship. Or to be cast on the shores of some habitable land. That I didn't care to wait for. Oh, there, there's one. I will say this, though. Um, I would imagine being rocked to sleep constantly would actually be kind of soothing. Yeah. As long as it's like calm, <laughs> calm waters. Uh... In 1917, it was also the year In when he wrote the tomb. In 1917, a story about Jervis Doodley and <laughs> Jay <laughs> <laughs> is everyone following this. I don't you care to take a note for your <laughs> for your book exam. Ma 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 yeah, Jervis Doodley. <laughs> Jervis Doodley. And he works by his house and becomes obsessed with it. These two works marked Lovecraft's return to short story writing after he burned. 
most of his attempts at the genre. It's legitimately how I feel as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the only friend I hear have have have. <laughs> it just snaps you. <laughs> Why? Why does it do that? I don't know. All right, I'm good. <laughs> what is the point in this? <laughs> Why is it so locked? Oh my god. Why could you not? But it's like, it snaps me back to this side. Yeah. Instead of, but if I go the opposite direction, it doesn't do that. Yeah, no, there's a glitch. There's a little error. I was just, I'm gonna make a joke about my only friend being this dildo over here. <laughs> but no. <laughs> can't even let me have that candy game. Neither ship nor land appeared. But I began to despair in my solitude upon a heaving vastness of unbroken blue. Heaving. Heaving vastness. <laughs> the change happened whilst I slept. Its details I shall never know. Mm. For my slumber, though troubled and dream infested, was continuous. Mm. <sighs> oh, hey guys. How's oh. It going? oh, this one. Okay, I do know this story. Can I. Is there. No, there's absolutely nothing else to do. Of course not. Yeah, I guess not. So basically, like, the waters awoke, have been receded. I was to discover myself half sucked mm. into a slimy expanse of hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I could see. Yeah. And in which my boat lay grounded some distance away. Yeah, it's barely being eaten. <laughs> yeah, or humped. Though one might well imagine that my first sensation would be of wonder at so prodigious and unexpected a transformation. I will say, story, however, I these in reality more squids yeah. should be basically flat. Yeah. <laughs> they have no structure. For there was in the air and in the rotting soil a sinister quality which chilled me to the very core. As at the giant squids the region <laughs> staring at you. With the carcasses of decaying fish and of other less describable things which I saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain. Oh, that that was just like... Octopi and squid. Drinking sky. How could you possibly not be able to recognize these? Nautilus. Yeah. These are recognizable. Yeah. So easily recognizable. However, uh... Some of the squids actually look like, um, I should not hope squids that don't exist the anymore. Yeah. They got hard-shelled squids. That can yeah. dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity. What are you talking about? Get there was nothing within hearing and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime. Yet the very completeness of the stillness uh -huh. and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with Aww. a nauseating fear. Poor fish. What fish am the sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruelty, uh -huh. as though reflecting the inky marsh beneath what? my feet. All right, cool. Ah, oh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, these creatures are extinct and dead. Yeah. Oh, look, I can look over. I can look over there. I can look over there. The origins of Dagon. Dagon seems to be inspired by Fishhead, a short no novel shit. <laughs> by Irvin S. Cobb about unnatural affinities between a hybrid idiot. What? And the strange fish of an did isolated lake. Did it actually say lake. that? It is, yeah. Supernatural horror and literature, H.P. Lovecraft. And Lovecraft's dream about a strange island emerging from the ocean and his crawling in the ooze that covered its surface. I... I dreamed that who that whole that hideous crawl and can yet feel the ooze sucking me deep. Uh, dude... <laughs> Oh, phrasing. <laughs> First off, <sighs> foreplay. In, Second in off, in defense of Dagon <laughs> H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. In defense. Interest. Was he? In I'm so, topic. Was this game the, made in like <laughs> him being on trial or something? Uh, 
uh, his look, look, I know you hate it. Love Lovecraft. Let, let me explain. To fish and s sea smells, as his own words. As fish. I have hated fish and feared the sea and everything connected with it since I was two years old. But I cannot recall what earlier experience gave me such a profound and lasting aversion <laughs> to the sea. And sea I food. was eaten by one of those giant catfish, and they had to dig, kill it and dig me out. Because those things will absolutely oh, no. eat babies. Absolutely. Ugh. Ugh. It's First sucking off, me deep. That, that just sounds As like I a guy making that story. noise <laughs> with his mouth. I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Yeah. It undulates. Through some unprecedented volcanic upheaval, a portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface, exposing regions I, for which innumerable no. millions of years had lain hidden I mean, under unfathomable water. At this time, his explanation would actually be relatively so sound. Was the, <laughs> of the new land which had risen beneath me. Based on their complete and the total lack of, the of logic and reason. My ears as I might. Okay. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead. He place. finds out that there's just slime in his ears. That's why he can't hear shit. <laughs> I, I can go forward there, or I can, I can, I can. Did you walk towards your boat so you could walk away? Volcanic eruptions sometimes result in the creation of islands. Most of them are yes, but it takes transient <laughs> and erode it takes after some a time. very long period of time. But it doesn't happen overnight, you moron. Permanent. The floating pumice, porous rock, created when a heavy, he, uh, superheated pressure uh, rock is ejected from a volcano, can move across long distances and transport barnacles and macrophages, macaroons, uh, that cling to it. In 2001, rafts of pumice created during the eruption of a volcano near Tonga Polynesia, uh, eventually reached Australia. Very interesting. Anyway. This is this is not a game. This is not a game now. Brooding in the boat, which lay upon um, the side and afforded a slight shade as the sun moved across the heavens. Alright, I guess I'll just go to the other side of the boat. As the day progressed, the ground lost some of its stickiness and seemed likely to dry sufficiently for traveling purposes in a short time. Sweet. I don't know why you didn't just flip your boat over. And the next day, I made for myself a pack containing food and water, preparatory to an overland journey in search of the vanished sea and possible rescue. You really fucked yourself by flinging your escapee body into the vastness of the ocean. <laughs> I can't click you. Can I, I cannot click, click you. Can what I... is even the point in these? Just play this out as a movie. This isn't interactive. I, I'm not right. Morning, I found the soil dry enough to walk upon with ease. You've been walking back and the forth this whole time. Was maddening. Yeah, but, but not I was with too ease. Much concerned with graver things to mind so slight an evil, and set out boldly for an unknown goal. You, 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 you. How about you? You, you. Okay, you. No. All right. <laughs> so right over the squid. Right over right the squid. Over All day, I forged steadily. Was westward, that? Guided by a faraway hummock which rose higher than the other elevation on the rolling desert. That's one of those. Fuck. And that's. Oh, these are alien. Oh yeah, yeah. And that almost looks like a giant um, lobster, but what? The the blue thing. The blue thing? No, that doesn't look like a lobster. It's got four like claws. Oh, I know what it actually is oh, from okay. the H.P. Lovecraft thing, but I mean like. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm just saying. All right, cool. Good lord! Oh, look, a whale. Oh, finally something recognizable. And these are like spider crabs. Giant effing spider crabs. Yep. Okay, there's nothing to be found here. You know, this actually could have been done in one of those those um, like iPhone VR where you that just night, look at it yeah. and it like and it just takes you. Giant that worms. That object seemed scarcely Ugh. nearer than when I had first espied it. Espied it. 
can I? No, can I? How about you? No, how about uh, trivia? Uh, uh, here we go. Did you know that this is all made up? <laughs> Today we know that the darkest depths of the ocean are home to many peculiar organisms. The deepest dwelling fish we have discovered so far, the Mariana snailfish, can live about not 800, 8,000 meters, more than 26,000 feet, below the ocean's surface in never-ending darkness and at hellishly crushing pressures. Hundreds of times stronger than those found at sea level. Upon clang, clang, glan, uh, glancing at the modern photos of deep sea Upon clang, clang, clang goes a trolley. <laughs> such as the anglerfish, the fangtooth, or the viperfish, they are truly, they're truly of crafty and characteristic. It's hard not no, to find they're some irony. No, look, crafty is deep sea characteristics. Don't give him, don't give him credit don't for the fish. It, don't get it backwards. Don't give the fish credit for whatever. By the fall, <laughs> he didn't do that. I attained the base of the mound, which turned out to be much higher than it had appeared from a distance. Yep. It's always that An way. Intervening valley setting it out in sharper relief from the general surface. Yep. Too weary to ascend, I slept in the shadow of the hill. Yep. I know not on why what. <laughs> What the hell did you sleep a on? Waning and fantastically gibbous moon had risen far above the eastern <laughs> plains. Gibbous. Gibbous. I mean, I was awake in a cold. I guess it is. Determined to sleep no more. I don't remember if gibbous was like. Such visions as I had experienced were too. Yeah, because there's like crescent when it's again. mostly and in the dark. The moon yeah. I saw how the rim is lit. I think Gibbous is the other other side was like without the glare of the parching sun. Like a crescent of shadow. Less energy. Okay. Indeed, I now felt quite able to perform the ascent which had deterred me at sunset. Uh-huh. Because you had a nap. I started for the crest of the eminence. Uh okay. But do I have to though? <laughs> What's the trivia? Did you know that Trivia. mountains are real? Trivia. Trivia. Contrary oh. to popular opinion, Lovecraft was never an ever flowing, eccentric, grumpy loner. No, he was a racist. <laughs> he considered himself to be a person who appreciated humor. Moreover, he would often meet with friends in his apartment or at various cafes in Brooklyn. You know, ones that didn't allow black people. <laughs> or any foreigners. At, Actually, I think, he was to be with... fair, um, yes, he, he, he was racist, but it was more just of the unknown or anyone that wasn't English. That's true. Uh, so French was French and Italian were Irish. also... Yeah, were also in that category. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So he's but just racist against everyone. 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 Uh, there was a point when he finally decided he needed to put on end to daily meetings and loitering in New York cafeterias and reported he was, that, he was to just a hipster and reading with the main room light turned off. He was like a modern day writer. There, That's what they're saying. A friend knocked on his door. He also had He's another the method coffee of shop. his He's, guests, which involved play. greeting them in a bathrobe. They play my favorite band, it's Beethoven. <laughs> with an unmade bed visible in the background and piles of papers scattered across the floor. Yeah, he wasn't a loner. He just decided to not go to public places anymore and hold up in his house piled with papers. <laughs> with and, the lights off. With the lights off. <laughs> Fucking idiots. But I think my what kind of trivia is this? I gained the sight of the <sighs> and looked down the other side into an immeasurable pit or canyon, whose black recesses the moon had not yet soared high enough to illuminate. I can't, look, I can't look down. I felt myself on the edge of the world. Okay. Peering over the rim into oh, a fathomless chaos of eternal night. Okay. Through my terror ran curious reminiscences of paradise Ugh. lost. The the book? And of Satan's hideous climb through yeah. the unfashioned okay. realms of darkness. Okay. As the uh, moon climbed higher in the sky, I began to see that the slopes of the valley were not quite so perpendicular as I had imagined. Okay. Okay. So I'm Are you gonna, gonna say non down. Euclidean? I swear to God. Non <laughs> 
Euclidean geometry of, of the world. And the sky is and the sky. boxes and triangles? Do that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the light. The fuck? It's... It's just re -blue. It's, it's just a slow the delay on the bloom. The croppings of rock afforded fairly easy footholds for a descent. Okay. And whilst after a drop of only a few hundred feet, the declivity became very gradual. Okay. You actually could slide down there on the muck pretty easily. Yeah, probably. Is there more trivia? I got to get my trivia fix. You know not me. Here. I don't think there's trivia on every Fuck, single. I love single trivia. Page. Oh, I know there's not. But I don't know how they can't think of more if? useless trivia. By an impulse, oh, which I cannot hey Tim, 2001 I Space Odyssey. Difficulty down the rocks. Yes. Actually, 2001 Space Odyssey actually um, was in some Space small way inspired by some HP no Lovecraft stuff. Yeah. Penetrated. And I think this is one of the books. Because in like the bottom once, of a crater is was captured by a vast and this, singular object this on the thing. opposite slope, which rose steeply wow. about a hundred yards ahead of it. It's a rock. An object that gleamed whitely in the newly bestowed rays wow. of the ascending moon. Wow. It's a rock. Gotta be some trivia around here. Yeah, it's gotta be trivia, right? Yeah, be trivia. Where's trivia, trivia, boy? On the moon. <laughs> trivia, trivia, trivia. No, nope. yeah, right, I don't think fine. it's trivia. Why is there no trivia? What if the trivia is on the moon? Can I, can I go to the moon? <laughs> you will probably later. All right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll just walk for now. Trivia. Why is it so horrible? The, the idea of you giving any freedom. Of stone, oh, no. I soon assured myself. It's just if you wanted to record the audiobook, just record the audiobook. Impression that its contour and position were not altogether the work of nature. Because it was non-Euclidean. Oh, my God. Me with sensations I cannot express. Oh, I uh, can. Because you have a tiny vocabulary. Tiny. And tiny penis. <laughs> And, and tiny tiny let's not forget the tiny penis. Don't, don't ignore the tiny penis. Despite its enormous magnitude and its position in an abyss, which had I feel like that's redundant. Is that not redundant? Enormous magnitude. Yeah. No, you're gonna have like a tiny magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I think I do have a tiny magnitude. <laughs> I have a box of tiny magnitudes <laughs> at my bedside table. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> They're called magnum condoms, but it's just for the magnitude. It's not... living and thinking creatures. So stupid. Dazed and frightened, yep. yet not without a certain thrill of the scientists. You would have seen that long before you delight. got all the way down here. I examined my surroundings more closely. Oh, did I now? Oh, I'm allowed to do that? <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> Thanks for letting me examine my surroundings more closely. I'm glad you gave me that opportunity. The moon, now near the zenith, shone weirdly and vividly above the towering steeps that hemmed in the chasm. Okay. Oh, hey, look, there's water here. This is where all the water went. Body of water at the it doesn't make any sense. Out of sight in both directions and almost lapping my feet as I stood on the slope. Almost. Across almost. The, castle, the wavelets washed the base of the cycle. Wavelets. God, this guy loves wave. weird fucking words. Yes. Like H.P. Lovecraft was this close to being his own Doctor Seuss. <laughs> uh there's so many there's so much unnecessary verbiage that he used. This to make himself sound smarter than he actually I, was. Yeah, I really feel like he was complicated. Like if he just like cut some of like half of half of the like the writing expounding the terms politics, down, it would have been so much better. Like anything I'd ever seen in books. <laughs> consisting for the most part of conventionalized aquatic symbols such as fishes, eels, octopi, fishes. Uh, it is actually correct. So, so fish is plural. Fish is multiple of that one kind of fish. Fishes is multiple of multiple kinds of fish. It actually is correct. Tim, I don't see fishes on here. No, there's tons of different kinds of fishes. You got shark. You got um, shark. You got shark. Well, you got okay, shark. That, those are you different kinds of shark. shark. You got shark. You got jellyfish. You got shark. 
They're not fish, though. They're called jellyfish, but they're not They're, they're fish. jellyfish. Hey, Siri. Is, fi is jellyfish gonna, a fish? She's not gonna do it. Siri hasn't been listening to me for the longest time. Oh. I think it because you insult her. I tried to see if it was turned off. It's but yeah, no, on. look. There's no... There's no, like, just fish. Well, look look beneath the lettering. Tim. Isn't that, isn't that a lionfish? Where? In the bottom right? Bottom right. Oh, 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 shit. You might be right. There's one fish. The rest are not Several fish. Characters. The um, sharks! Other than the sharks. Things which are unknown to the modern world. <laughs> like lionfish. Several characters obviously represent marine things which are unknown to the modern world. Do you want us to point them out? We'll point them out for you. Is that one in the center? Yes. And, and it's good. okay, that's an octopus. That's a another kind of jellyfish. 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 I think the one down at the bottom in the middle is the only one that's unrecognizable. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. But whose decomposing forms I had observed on the ocean risen plain. Oh, is that. Oh, is that what's going no. on? It was the pictorial carving, however, that did most to hold me spellbound. Yeah? Oh, what, that? Oh, what? Oh, trivia! Oh, I don't even... I don't even have to focus for this trivia? Yeah, no, 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 this... Is this trivia this, I want? This is, this is blatant. Oh, Cosmic Horror Scholar! Way to go! You got a Chivo! Storytelling methods! Tagon contained many themes and storytelling methods that Lovecraft developed in his later works, such as telling the story through carvings at the Mountains of Madness. Yes, the name exposition. Of the city. Journals and characters' notes. The Shadow Out of Time, the Haunter of the Dark. Inside emerging uh, in islands, sorry, I, whew, islands emerging from the ocean, the Call of Cthulhu, or fictional beings and deities based on real events and mythologies. Yes, every single My one of his books is in absolutely darkness. like this. It's also considered the origin of the popular Cthulhu mythos. Some of Lovecraft's other stories also concluded uh, in a manner similar to Dagon, but let's skip the details in order not to spoil the ending. It's not gonna spoil the ending. Oh, the guy's crazy. What? <laughs> visible across the intervening water on account of their enormous size were an array of bas reliefs whose subjects would have excited the envy of a Dore. Okay. I you got mermaids down at the bottom. Supposed to yeah. depict men, at least a certain sort of men. Though the creatures were shown disporting like fishes in the waters of some green grotto. Okay, now he didn't use it right. Fishes? Yeah. Yeah. Because now it would just be the, the singular yeah. shrine, which appeared to be under the waves as well. Yeah. Of their faces and forms, I dare not speak in detail. I mean, because yeah, you can't. For the mere remembrance <laughs> makes me grow faint. Oh, right, oh, he means those ones those. down there, yeah. Wait, let's let's draw. Uh, okay, there's four of them. Uh huh. Each one's a little different. Uh. Grotesque beyond the imagination of a Poe or a Bulwer. Okay, so the That's bottom, the bottom one, is that top right is the rightmost one. Oh, I see. A little bulbousy on mm -hmm. the head. Uh, the the rightmost one. I'm, I'm thinking it's that that second to right. Yeah. And that would mean that this one on the left is left, and that one in the center is the second one to the right. Yeah. Uh, I can see it. Maybe. The only one I'm not sure about is that leftmost one. Yeah. That was a little weird. <laughs> anyway. They were damnably human in general outline, despite webbed hands and feet, shockingly what? wide and flabby lips. What? What? Glassy. That's not what I see. Eyes and other features less pleasant to recall. Okay. It just looks like enough, bad drawings. One of them you can't even so see because it's so glared over. For one of the creatures was shown in the act of killing a whale, represented as but little larger than himself. All right. First off, not, those are amazing say, drawings of whales that size. no one else would have had. Yeah. Number two, there are tons of depictions but in a moment, where, that they were merely you know, size is completely askew. Yeah. 
Actually, maybe those are piss poor drawings of smaller fish. <laughs> Can I? Okay. No, you don't get to do anything else. Stop. I was struck at this unexpected glimpse into a past beyond the conception of the most daring anthropologist. Dude, someone's playing a prank on you. They put this here like yesterday. First of all, why would, why would those four beings make this depiction of themselves doing this? It would be other people making this depiction. What I see. With only a slight chance to its rise to the surface, the thing slid into view above the dark waters. Did it? Like a stupendous monster of nightmares to the marlin. Look at that ass. Ooh, it's very froggy ass. Ooh. About which it flung its gigantic scale arms. The violin bowed its hideous head and gave vent to certain measured sounds. Okay, cool. I uh, blacking out. I blacked out from, uh, from madness. I think I went mad then. Yep. I mean, frantic ascent of the slope and that doesn't happen. My no, it doesn't. You back to the stranded boat. Your fight or flight prevents you from falling unconscious. Yeah. What? I guess What's I'm leaving, on? but all right. Oh, you're trying to crawl up. Yeah. While being mad. Yeah. Oh my I God. A great deal and laughed oddly when I was unable to sing. Uh, Why are because... you trying to sing? Because going mad, you, you start singing and laughing. Cause laugh when you try to sing and sing when you try to laugh. That's how madness works. No one's ever been crazy before. We don't have that documented. I have indistinct recollections of a great storm sometime after I reached the boat. Okay. All right. Are we supposed to be able to hear him? I can't tell. Doesn't sound like it. Wait, someone, uh... I'm mixed. blocking out again, guys! I'm blocking God. out! It's literally the thing... It's one of the things I've when griped the most the about listening to H.P. Lovecraft books. Francisco I blacked out. One hour later. I blacked out I didn't out feel like writing the following chapter, so I blacked out. Of the American <laughs> ship, Fuck you. My boat in mid -ocean. In my delirium, I had said much. Ooh, delirium. I haven't heard him use that word before. Scant attention. Of any land upheaval in the Pacific, my rescuers knew nothing. Nor did I deem it necessary to insist upon a thing which I knew they could not believe. What? The atheist. Oh yeah, what a surprise. No! Uh, Lovecraft considered himself, himself an, an atheist, atheist an, an absolute, absolute materialist, which he attributed per, uh, partly to his early childhood interest in astronomy and science in general. In his own words, I am indeed an absolute materialist so far as actual belief goes, with not a shred of uh, credence in any form of superstition, uh, supernaturalism, religion, spiritual. Yes, he was superstitious and believed in the supernatural. All I say is that I think it is damned unlikely that anything like a central cosmic will, a spirit world, or an eternal, sur <laughs> eternal survival of personal existence. Come on, man. <clears throat> No, oh, sorry. Uh, in theory, I I'm a materialist. What does that mean? I like things, not people. That's what a materialist is. In theory, I am an agnostic, but pending the appearance of radical evidence, I must be classed practically and provisionally as an atheist. I, unless I see God, I will not believe in God. I will do no such thing as belief in such insane thoughts. Now, excuse me while I write about the sp uh, the, the the fishmen from the sky. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, another one. Sweet. Journalist. All right, yeah, whatever. The kind of effect of warfare, blah, 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 blah. Above warfare, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care anymore. <laughs> this is so checked out. My God. Once I sought out a celebrated ethnologist. Okay. And amused him with peculiar questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of Dagon, the fish god. And what did he say? 
That you're a crazy Did he motherfucker. tell you to fuck off? There? You'd expect there would be more here. There's one right there. He is often mistakenly taken for a fish god due to the wrong interpretation of his name. As in Hebrew, the word dag means fish. In H.P. Lovecraft's work, Dagon is an underwater deity. Okay. Sorry, wait. Dagon was the main deity of the Philistines, worshipped through the Middle East as the ancient god of fertility and crops. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, a humanoid race which fish traits that reside in the ocean. He is worshipped by a secret cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Yep. Cool. Yeah, there's a surprising little, little in here. Yeah, hey, I'm done. You done? No, keep going. See, we're almost finished. Are there's you no, sh there's no point. I, if I know the story correctly, it's almost. Done. Okay, cool. You sure you don't want the audience to do it? Who have fun of their own? No, I want this over so no one else has to endure this. All right, cool. All right, look, another one. Uh, the marketer. Let's, let's invent our own trivia. The marketer um, was a guy that HP knew in the market who just, uh, he didn't sell things, but he helped people buy land to set up markets. So he was known as the marketer. And when he would find, a, he did it secretly so people didn't know. So he'd go around and he would put like a mark on the door frames like, oh, this is the one you want. This right here. Tell them, he'd give them a piece of paper. He's like, oh, tell them you only have this much. And he was known as the marketer and H.P. Lovecraft knew him there. <laughs> Are you actually reading it? <laughs> yeah. And H.P. Uh, Lovecraft fucking sucked at marketing. Yeah, he sucked at a lot of things, dude. He is overrated. He's probably one of the most overrated authors like, ever. Like, this is nothing but just drivel and, like, just Gobbledygook. excessive, yeah. like, verbiage. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh. You hate Lo Lovecraft after this? A little bit. August Delirus. I will say this, also, however, I like the community of H.P. Lovecraft more than I like his books, because they've expounded on it and filled in the. <laughs> Whoa, that again! Not this shit again, game. No. I'm gonna have to be super accurate when I go to look at this clock. Yeah. I gotta decide. Check but this um, out. yeah, he, uh, there was a lot of stuff like. Well, for, for example, um, Cthulhu wasn't the the main guy. No, he was just like... Yeah, he was just one like, of many. Yeah. But people really, really fucking love Cthulhu. Yeah. Why? More than Dagon, even though I think Dagon's mentioned more. Yeah. It is at night, especially when the moon is gibbous and waning, that I see the thing. I tried morphine, but the drug has given only transient surcease. And has drawn me into its clutches as a hopeless slave. Yep. So now Diction. I am to end it all, having written a full account for the information or the contemptuous amusement of my fellow men. You know, his story actually isn't that compelling. No, not really. We lived it. We, I mean, we, 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 we experienced it. There wasn't that much that happened. Lovecraft hated tobacco. <laughs> In his correspondence with friends, or er, friend... Reinhardt Kleiner, he claims that he quit uh -huh. as soon as he started wearing long pants. He quit tobacco. <laughs> yeah. I'm rather in favor of... So meaning when he was a little boy, he smoked tobacco. As soon as he was a man and only wore long pants. What? <laughs> what utter nonsense. <laughs> All right, time for me to drink Often, some morphine. I ask myself if it could not all have been a pure phantasm. Could have been. A freak of fever as I lay sun-stricken and raving in the open boat after my escape from the German man of war. This I ask myself, but ever does there come before me a hideously vivid vision in reply. I cannot think of the deep sea without shuddering 
at the nameless things that may at this very moment like swim beneath him and floundering on its slimy bed worshipping their ancient stone idols and carving their own detestable likenesses on submarine obelisks of water-soaked granite first of all there's no one in the boat second of all I dream of a day when they there's no shape the underneath the water it was just the fin talons, no there was a shape the of puny, really yeah exhausted mankind of a day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean shall ascend amidst universal pandemonium We'll all go to New York City. Yeah, because fuck you, uh, fuck you, New York. That wait, a, cool. wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. When was the Statue of Liberty? That's an excellent question. You, you can Google it. <sighs> I gotta look this up. Really? Slippery body lumbering against it. I put a book case of a book. I put a book. I put a book. I put something in front of it. I put something in front of it. You um, can't get me. You can't get me. Fuck you, dude. 1886? 1886? 1886. Oh, cool. Hey, buddy. Tentacles, just fucking tentacles. God, that uh, hand. Is that it? Yeah. The window. The window. What about it? I want you to jump through the window? I guess I could go through the window. But uh, kind of don't want to go through the window. Okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, he killed yeah. himself. Yeah. Personally, I feel like this is more a statement on morphine. Yeah, basically, yeah. And uh, drug abuse. Drug yeah. abuse and Uplier delirium. Abuse. Um, him having a psychotic. Oh, we missed some trivia. Oh no! Oh, oh well, we got to start over again, Tim. Scratch the recording. What? Gotta we do it missed over. missed four trivias. Four boring pieces of information? What? That's impossible. Well, I can't sleep Tim, what, tonight. This was a painfully long this was agony. episode that we did. Fucking agony. I hate it. I hate so all of bad. it. This was disgusting. Um, Abysmal. I, I mean, I... Sickening, even. I I don't know H. what P. they were Lovecraft, trying to... HP More like HP Borecraft. Okay, if this was a VR experience... That'd be one thing. Because being in first person would make a lot of this a lot more interesting. Because you you know, especially if it's just playing out um, and you're just kind of like there and you can't do anything and you're kind of like, it would help you help, you know, live the kind of magnet. But a first person game where it's just you click, you have one or two options? Yeah. It's this bad. sucked. It's pretty Glad bad. this is free. Yeah, if you paid money for this. Oh, God. I would have been insulted for you. I mean, there's no way this is a demo. What's the full game? And there's apparently two hours DLC. of this. There's apparently two DLC for it. No. Yeah. God no. The Eldritch box and the little glass bottle. Whatever. Yeah. Um, HP Lovecraft's games can be fun, but they either need to be full experiences, or you need know, to just go fucking die. Yeah. Yeah. But kind of. This one. This one's just not. It's not good. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications. And leave down in the comment section below. I'd like to see us play any other games. Uh, we're, this is Occult Over, so we're doing a lot of Occult games. A lot of HP Lovecraft. So uh, if there's any games you guys want to recommend, don't we don't get them. I HP Lovecraft after this. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> well, we got a bunch. So well, too bad. Well, we got a bunch. So we got to get through. Bye.